TOKIO Oh yeah, Autobahn Tokyo. About a year ago I'd recorded some footage of this game so I could make a video about it, but the audio was kind of distorted and I didn't bother replaying it, because gameplay is not one of this title's strongest assets. And when gameplay is not the strong point of a game, you know you're in for some stinky pixels. But I finally went back and played it again, so let's take a short look at it, because there's still some fun to be had despite the smell. Autobahn Tokyo is a 3D racing game featuring four cars, three tracks, championship and time trial modes, and um, it's on the 3DO. It was only released in Japan, but since the 3DO is region free, it plays just fine on my North American console. Though one of the tracks seems to be a purpose-built course, I guess uh, the tracks are actually supposed to be on public roads, and uh, during championship mode races you'll face off against a single computer opponent as well as have to deal with street traffic. I think maybe it's supposed to be a drift style racing game, even though your car handles sluggishly, it's still easy to send it into a difficult to control slide around the corners. I find it to be pretty difficult all around, but I have to admit my driving in this video is pretty bad, it's possible to do much better if you manage to stick with it. While this game isn't going to win any awards for its visuals, the style of the graphics is actually fine for me, I like how bright and colorful it is, and I like that old chunky polygon look with crude textures. Unfortunately, the frame rate is not so good, and makes the already cumbersome steering even more difficult. So why did I say there's some fun in this game? Well, it's the glitches. There's a decent amount of them, so let's take a look at a few. It wasn't uncommon back in the early days of 3D games to have objects just pop into view, but you didn't normally see it in background images, but here you can see this mountain pop in from nowhere, and then a few seconds later, disappear completely. Now that might not seem so bad, uh, but there's other examples of this same type of thing happening that are even better. My favorite one is on this first track. When you drive down this straightaway, depending on which side you're on, the sky texture or background just changes. And uh, that is pretty tripped out. And kind of awesome. I, I wish more games just would randomly change skies and textures like that. Another glitchy thing that happens sometimes has to do with collisions with other vehicles. Normally, when you hit another car, you just come to a dead stop, uh, which is bad enough. But sometimes when you hit the rear end of your opponent's car, you bounce them up a little bit, and you end up getting stuck, and you just keep bouncing and bouncing, and uh, you can uh, slowly turn your way out of it, but if you don't, you'll stay there for minutes, or days, or forever. Probably not forever, but for a long time. Alright, that's, that's about long enough. Besides, I don't like this green car who's trying to get in on the action. That's It's just getting creepy now, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one might be my favorite. Uh, I don't know if it's a glitch or what it is, uh, but we'll finally get to see the city course. And uh, there's this one tunnel. It only happens for this specific tunnel. But you see as I go along, you know, the road texture's moving fine, everything's going by fast, but then you see everything slow down and almost start to go backwards. Like you're getting shot through some interdimensional gateway. The first time this happened to me, I was playing in first-person mode, and it just freaked me out, and then all of a sudden you're just confused, and then you end up shooting out the end of the tunnel, and, uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty into it. Very cool. They probably had a good space racing game on their hands and didn't, didn't even know. But yeah, this is a pretty trippy one. Hopefully everyone's seeing the same thing I am, and I'm, I'm not just crazy. This last thing isn't a glitch at all, but it makes me laugh. Um, so at the end of a race, let's say you didn't finish in first, 
Uh, normally it would say game over or something like that. But in this game, it just tells you you're a loser. That just makes me giggle. I know I'm not showing this game in its best light, except that I am. The glitchy half-finished vibe is awesome. It's hard to imagine this was really a completed title and not just something slapped together and put out in the market. Need for Speed had set something of a benchmark for 3D driving games on this console a year earlier, so you can't even say that this was good for its time. But honestly, I, I really don't hate this game. I find its clunkiness to be charming. Not that it's worth getting for your 3DO, it's not, and clearly something is wrong with me for finding something appealing about it. But we're all flawed in some way, and, and the world would be a better place if we could all just have a little more tolerance of each other's quirks. This is more than just a broken racing game. It's really a plea for acceptance and understanding. And if you're ready to listen, Autobahn Tokyo is ready to hear. No, that's, that's not right. Autobahn Tokyo is ready to talk, and you better listen up. Yeah, that's it. Autobahn, 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 Cinnabon.